Hey lovelies, welcome back. If you are new, hi, my name is Yasmin. Thank you so much for being here. Um, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you could join our lovely family. Also, I did want to say thank you to those that are new subscribers and are here on my channel. Thank you so much. Um, be sure to drop a comment down below and let me know that you're new. And if you are new and if you are like a smaller YouTuber, then go ahead and let me know and I'd be happy to support anybody who needs some support. I would be very happy to do that. So anyways, Today's video, I'm super excited. I am going to be doing the Shop Miss A, $1, you know, full face of that. If you don't know what Miss A is, it's pretty much a website that sells uh, makeup products. I think they have like accessories, um, hair stuff for like a dollar. Everything's le legit $1, except for like some charity stuff. They up it by a few cents, but everything's $1. So I got everything for a full face except for primer. As always, you guys know, if I'm gonna test out a new foundation, I like to use the primers that I know work for me. That way, if something goes wrong with the foundation, I know it's the foundation and not the primer. So I did get my order in. So I'm super excited. There is a hole in it. I got a little excited and I wanted to open it, but I didn't. So I I forgot what I got too. It's been a while that I ordered this stuff. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Also, don't mind my hair. Um, I try to take a body shower. That's when you just you know shower your body, not your hair. And uh, I don't know how my hair got wet but it did so i'm just letting it dry i didn't want to wait for it to dry and i want to blow dry it to film the video so i just kind of let it be so a lot of the things came really pa like packaged really well like there was bubble wrap there was paper there was this foamy stuff there was a lot like everything was packaged really nicely here's some of the makeup in here so um i want to let you guys know as well that um everything i got i got 16 items according to this 16 items and i paid i remember in 1995 for everything and that included shipping and all that stuff $19.95 and I got a full face of makeup. So I hope this stuff is good because that's a really great price. So let me find, I think my foundation is in here. Yep, let's go ahead and get the foundation out. Oh, actually, let's go ahead and open up the little blender. So I, I got this little, uh, kind of like a beauty blender or just like a, a, a beauty sponge. It's called the Wonder Blender and it's a high definition sponge and it's from AOA Studio. It is a latex free sponge, looks like this. It's just like a little purple face sponge. So don't mind my nails, by the way. Um, I try to paint them and they already chipped off like a day or two after. So I'm just going to let them be for now and I'll just repaint them later. I hope it doesn't bother anybody. But, woo, this feels nice. Hmm, that's a nice sponge. So right now it's dry. Um, let's see. Um, yep, I'm supposed to wet this, which I would have wet it anyway. It says I can use it with primers, foundations, powders, cream, blushes, Another complexion products. Great. So I'm going to go wet this real quick and we'll use it to our apply our foundation. Okay. So I feel like the sponge got really big and it's still pretty squishy. So it's not really rock hard. Like I thought I'm less expensive the sponge would be, but it's nice. So this is the foundation I got. Um, I got the Santi Flawless Perfect Finish Foundation and S Smooth Natural Drop Liquid. I've never tried a drop foundation before. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. And I got the shade. What shade did I get? Let me see. I have the paper in front of me. I don't even remember the things that I got. Ah, shade beige. So a lot of the like concealers and the foundations on the website, when I was looking through it, they all looked, I don't know, some of them were too yellow, too orange, and some pinky tones. It's just the tones were kind of off for me. And then the names were kind of off, like lighter color names, like, I don't know, like natural or ivory were a lot darker than what I thought it would look like. So, um, Usually this, this looks like it's right, but I think the concealer I got is like a porcelain color. I'm never porcelain ever. So I'm always like in the beige or like the ivory or the natural section and it's just, but it looks like the right color. So, but we'll see in a second. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pop this on. I don't even know how to use this. Can I just drop it on my face or, oh, so you squeeze this. I use this. The dropper is not working very well. Oh. It shoots out one little blob. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like that's all it drops. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Maybe I could just smudge it on my face and then blend it in with the blender. I think I'll do it like that instead. I'm gonna grab a mirror. Okay, so I'm using the bottom of that Wonder Blender. Um, I'm not seeing the coverage I want to see. So 
I don't know how I feel about this. Obviously, I'm more of a full coverage, medium to full coverage person. I feel like it's not covering what I need to cover. <laughs> Okay, the foundation's all blended in. Um, obviously, it's a super, super, very light coverage. I feel like it's more like a natural finish on the skin. Not really my cup of tea, but it's not bad. I feel like it doesn't look cakey on my skin. It looks like it really blended into the skin and it made it look like my skin but better type of feel. Not a lot of coverage, but it's not bad. So, for a dollar, it's not bad at all. Next, I'm going to go in with some concealer. I'm going to go in with the AOA Studio Wonder Cover HD Concealer. Looks like this, and now that I'm looking at it, it looks very light. On the website, it did not look this light, but still, we're going to go in with it anyways and see how it goes. See how much coverage it's going to give me, because this is a dollar, so I'm hoping it gives me pretty good coverage. So, let's see. I hate when not all the plastic is off. There you go. Okay, has a nice little doe foot here. It's really small. So let's see how it applies. Yeah, that's like really light. Oops. I'll just add a little bit. I never get it this light. I don't like how thin the little applicator is. It's super thin. I think I'm used to the shape tape with the thicker applicator. Makes it a little easy. Okay. Yeah, oh, way too light. Okay. Alright, I'm going to blend this all out, and if it still looks too light, I might have to go in with my shape tape or something just to make it a little darker because it's looking a little too light. It looks like I'm rubbing sunscreen on my face. Okay, I'm, done. I'm just going to try that. Okay, so I went ahead and just um, used my Makeup Revolution Concealer to find Full Coverage Concealer because it's a little darker than my Tarte Shape Tape, so I thought it would balance it out, and I feel like I saved it a little bit. Just a little bit. Um... When it comes to the concealer, when I was trying to blend it on my skin, it was not working. Like, it did not want to blend. It was so hard to blend. I, I, I don't like this. So, all right, next I'm going to go in with some powder. I got the um, Malibu Glitz Smooth Definition Press Powder in the shade Light. And it looks like this little pressed powder. Hopefully this will... Oh, let's see how it works out on my skin. Hopefully it's easy to blend. So let's see, let me grab the sponge. I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with that sponge and just grab some product onto here. Just press it onto the skin, see how it works. The true test is over here up on my forehead. Cause that's usually where I get very cakey the most if the powder is too, you know, too thick or something. Then I'll know. I really like this powder. It didn't look cakey at all and it really smoothed out my skin and it really blended well with the concealer and the foundation. Oop, I'm already creasing a little bit. You guys see that right here? I'm already creasing, so let's fix that really quick. I don't like how bad I'm like creasing, but I mean, what can you do? So next, I'm going to go in with some contour. I got this Contour Trio 3 Professional Kit from Amuse Cosmetics. It looks like this. Just a little three-colored one because I wasn't sure which one I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Um, I guess I'll go with the shade over here and see how that one goes. It's powder, right? Yep. Let's see. Oh, good amount goes onto the brush. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm just going to use this little mirror from the powder. side and brush upwards hmm. 
is not bad at all. That's pretty pigmented for it being a dollar. You guys see? Yeah, I like it. Cool. This is a dollar and it's pretty pigmented. I'm gonna swatch the other ones. Hmm. Not bad. Cool. Okay, so that was my contour. I thought it was gonna take me a lot longer than that. All right, so now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and use, let's see, did I not buy any? Oh, okay. I understand what I did here. So I was wondering why I bought two blush trios, but it's because I was going to use one for bronzer and one for blush because I think the bronzer that I wanted, they were out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and just use this little blush duo as a bronzer, and then I'll use the other one as my blush. Let's open this up. Oh, this one's from Amuse Cosmetics. And what shade is this one? Oh, it doesn't say. Okay then, never mind. All right, the lid pops right off. And this is the colors in here. So I'm probably just gonna use this one as like my bronzer. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll grab a fluffy brush. I'll just use this one. Just dip it right in here. And it looks like blush. Dang it. I mean, I know it's a blush, but I was trying to use it as bronzer. What if I added this one? Okay, I'm looking kind of rosy here. And I keep adding more product. Okay, what if I just add a little bit of the this powder? Just to tone it down a little bit because that's a little too much. Those are really pigmented for a dollar. Wow. The color wasn't accurate from what I saw on in the internet. Okay, I'm gonna fix this really quick. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this as my blush bronzer because if I add any more, it's gonna look like a clown. So this was the shades from the other ones that I got. So I really like this one. So I'll put this on the side for another day for me to use because I like the colors, I like the mauve colors in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some highlighter. I got the AOA Studio Wonder Baked Highlighter. I didn't know it was a rose gold color. I got the shade Cupcake. I thought I got a more gold color. This is, looks more like a rosy gold. Let me open it up so you can see it better. Looks like a rose gold. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. This is kind of rough. It does not feel smooth at all. That's what it looks like. It looks kind of powdery. Well, let's try it out on the face. I'm gonna go ahead and use this new highlighting brush that I was talked about at my Really? Anyways, about this brush that I talked about during my Ulta haul, and I'll link that up here for you guys, so you guys can check that out, or up here, up here, up here. And I put a lot of product to my brush, and then it goes away. Let's try again. Okay, I'm seeing it a little bit. I really like this brush for highlighting. It's so pretty. That is not bad. I mean, think like for a dollar, not bad. It's not as blinding as I would want it to be, but it's not bad. Again, it's a dollar, not bad. Okay. <gasps> I didn't buy a setting spray. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna go with my usual setting spray. I'm just gonna go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray and then we'll move on with the rest of the face. I am looking super like bronzy sun kissed right now and I kinda like it. So um, next I'm gonna go in with brows. I'm gonna go in with this AOA Studio Wonder Brow Tinted Brow Pomade. So what it looks like and I got the shade Ebony, which is, you know, usually the shade that I like to go towards or dark brown, deepest dark brown, something that's really dark. So whoa. This is a really tiny pomade, like it's small, it's little. Compared to, let me grab my Makeup Revolution one. Big size difference, like big. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I'm gonna use my Anastasia, um, what is this? I don't know, like brow pencil thing. And I dropped it. Ooh, that is super creamy. Can you guys see that? 
take, take off the excess right there. Go ahead and do our brows. I'm just going to use this little mirror over here on this powder. So I like how dark my eyebrows look. So I like the color of the pomade. I just feel like it's super messy. I just feel like it's a lot more, it's not as waxy as like my Makeup Revolution brow pomade or when I use the Anastasia brow pomade. I feel like it's not as thick, I guess, but it's not bad. So move on from the eyebrows. Next, I did get this little eyeshadow palette from Amuse Cosmetics. This is what it looks like. Pretty little colors, I think. I don't know what look I'm gonna do yet, but let's just get started with that. Hope you guys don't mind that I scoot you a lot closer to my face. So um, I'm gonna go in with the shade here first. Just use it as my transition shade. Again, I don't know what type of eye look I'm trying to go for, but just go with the flow. They smell like, no one, I don't know if I'm the only one, but you know, like when you were a young girl and you got like those little fake little makeup sets and you would play with them and you get nail polish and like little lippy sticks or a lip palette. This is what it smells like. It smells like that kind of stuff. Hmm. Not bad. I need to keep adding, but again, I'm trying to remember that these were a dollar. So when I'm saying that's not bad, I'm saying that's not bad for a dollar. <laughs> Focus. Focus. Thank you. Okay, so I just realized that that transition shade that I went into is the only matte shade in the palette. <sighs> Great, so I'm just gonna go in with like, hmm. I really wanna do the purple shade, but I really wanna do the gold shade. I'll just do the gold shade because I feel like this one's gonna look a little muddy on my eyelid. So I'll just go in with this one and put that all over the lid. I'm gonna grab, let's see. Grab this brush here. I'm just gonna grab this brush. A little bit onto the eyelid. It's gonna be such a boring makeup look, I'm sorry. The lighting just got really weird in here. Okay, so I'm gonna try adding a lot of that gold shade onto my brush and then spraying it with some setting spray and see if I can intensify it a little bit more. Let's see. I think it intensified it more than this side. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and go in with the purple shade anyway. I'm just going to put it right here at the ends. I'm just going to use this little brush here. Just see what happens. Just going to pat a little bit out here. I don't even think it did anything. I don't even know how pigmented this is. I should have probably swatched them, but it's better to just use them on your eyes. Let's try and swatch them on your arms. 
Wow, that looks bad. That got bad really fast. Okay, we can fix it. Yeah, that one got really intense. I'm gonna try using a clean brush here. Okay, so I blended it out and I added a little tiny bit of this pink into my inner corners just to add a little something, just to use another color in the palette. I feel like this palette is not inspiring me. I feel like that's why the eye look came out like meh, because it's just this palette is meh. But I mean, for a dollar, it's not bad for a dollar, but it's still meh. I was just wasn't inspired. So um, I did get some eyeliner. I got this little AOA Studio Wonder Liquid Liner in black, and then also got some lashes. Um, it's the Car Eyelashes and number 110. These are really pretty, so I can't wait to use those. And then I also got this mascara. It's from Amuse Cosmetics. It's a waterproof mascara, and I mostly picked it because look at the shape of the bottle. Isn't that pretty? I think that was super pretty and chic, and it's a really pretty packaging. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw some liquid liner on, the lashes and the mascara, and then we'll be right back to test out some liquid lipsticks. Um, again, they're a dollar, and I got three of them, so... Let's see how they work. Now that the eye makeup is done, um, I got did get three lip shades. These are liquid lipsticks. I think they're supposed to be matte liquid lipstick. Yep, matte. And I got three shades. I got Vibin, Hype, and Shade. Again, these are all dollars. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch them for you, and then I'll see which one I'm going to put on my lips. Okay, so I swatched them all in my hand, and they look pretty dry. So this is the shade, um, what was it again? Oh, Hype, Vibin, and Shape. Shade. <laughs> Sorry. I know my hand is hairy. Leave it alone. But this is what they look like. Swatch it. Look, they're, they're pretty pigmented for a dollar. I mean, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to go in with the shade Vibin and see how they, you know, work on the lips and see how fast they dry on the lips. Okay, so the lipstick is pretty much dry. And for a dollar, I love it. Like, I love the color. It's not thick. It feels really thin, really light on my lips. It's not super sticky. It doesn't have an odd smell. And it was pretty pigmented. And it dried really quickly. So I really like this. So I'm really happy I got three colors. So again, these are the AOA Studio. These are the Wonder Matte Liquid Lipsticks. So in case you guys are interested, these are all $1. So I'm definitely really excited about that. And I didn't get a setting spray. I don't know why. I don't know what happened there, but I didn't get one. So I'm just going to skip that step. But um, yeah, this is pretty much the finished look with all $1 makeup. Again, this is the website. It's called Shop Miss A. Everything's a dollar. They even have brushes on there and things like that in case you guys want to check it out. Um, so I just want to quickly recap what I did like, what I didn't like. I just got to think and remember, it's a dollar. So let me think. Um, liquid lipsticks, yes, super excited about this. I like it a lot better than a lot of li liquid lipsticks that are like 20 bucks. These are really good. So I'm really excited to get more of these. Like, I love these colors too. So I'm really excited about that. Um, the liquid liner, I feel like it was really hard to use. Like for a dollar, it's great pigment. And I think it's like matte, like it dried pretty matte. I really liked it for that, but I feel like the wand on here, I feel like it was really hard to use. It's not as sharp as I would have wanted it to be, like the tip. So it was really hard to use. So I feel like you would only be successful at doing a wing liner if you were doing wing liner since you were like in the womb. So it was really hard because it got everywhere on top of my eyelid too. Like I know my wing liner is not the best and I can feel that it's not the best. So, I mean, I still like it. But again, you have to be you have to be doing wing liner every day for many hours of the day to be really good at using that that like stencil that came with it. Um, the powder I really liked it. It didn't make my face cakey at all. I liked the color. It was it blended really nicely onto my skin. It went really well with the foundation and the concealer. I really like this. So keeping that. I didn't like the mascara. I'm super picky with mascara. I f this didn't do anything for me. It just kind of like made my eyelashes dark. Didn't really do anything, but the packaging is beautiful. But still, didn't do anything for me. So I was like, eh, not excited about it. Then the blush duo, I actually really liked it. It was super pigmented, as you guys can probably still see. It's really pigmented. So I really like it. I thought I was going to use for bronzer, but I guess not. But I really like it. So I'm really excited to use the other blush duo that I bought in the like pinky mauve tones. So I'm really excited to use that. I'll keep that on the side just so I remember to use it. Um, I like the contour trio. I feel like it was also really pigmented for a dollar. I really liked it and it came with three colors in it. They have other trios with different, you know, shades in each trio, but I really like this one like a lot. So I'm definitely going to continue using that. Um, the foundation, it's, whoa, everything is about to fall here. 
it's good because it is a dollar so it was really good it gave you a really natural finish it wasn't super dewy but it wasn't super matte it was really nice like in a satiny velvety type of feeling um again not a lot of coverage but if you are those type of people who have beautifully flawless skin who don't need any coverage whatsoever or just want to use the animal during the spring and summertime when you're just out and about and doing like a makeup no makeup type of look this is really nice so one dollar the only thing I don't like is that little squeezy thing doesn't even work. Like you, I showed you guys how it was squeezing out the foundation. It just dropped one little drop. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to drop more drops than that. So I didn't like that. But I'll keep that there. Um, I like the eyelashes. I feel like they're not as dramatic or as thick or wispy as I wanted them to. But, you know, they're okay. They have a lot of different styles for a dollar. So when it comes to the concealer, um, I didn't like this. First of all, I know it got too light, but on the website it looked a lot darker. It did not blend very well. It was really, really hard to blend. Check it out. It was really, really hard to blend this concealer, so I do not like this, and I don't recommend it. I think it would be better if you just spent like six more dollars to get the Makeup Revolution Define and Conceal Concealer than this. So there's that. I like the sponge. It was a lot softer and more a lot bouncier than I thought it would for a dollar. This is really good. It's just as good as like my other sponges that are like six or seven dollars. So. I like that and five dollars so i like the sponge um i like the highlighter the only thing is just it's kind of chalky at first and it's a really pretty highlight but it's not as blinding as i want it to be but again for a dollar not bad not bad and then the oh the eyeshadow palette eh, i wasn't that fond of like the color selection here especially when there was only like one matte i mean this is matte up here but like what am i supposed to do with this i mean so I don't really like this. I would much prefer getting like a wet and wild like eyeshadow palette than this. So yeah, I'm just going to put that on the side. And then this last product is the um, tinted brow pomade. I actually really liked it. I feel like it was a little messy, but it's not bad. I don't know what I'm looking at. Sorry, my mirror's over here, so I'm trying to look at it. It's not bad. I like it. So I'm probably going to keep this. Of course, I just don't like how small it is, but again, it's a dollar. So I'm going to keep that there. So I think that was all the products I did using the Shop Miss A website. All the makeup I used was $1, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm going to keep using a lot of the products that are in here because I actually really like it. So let me know if you guys do go on the website and you order some of these products. Let me know what worked for you, what didn't, because a lot of this stuff actually worked for me and I'm going to keep using. So yeah, don't forget to hit the, sub the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and the like button if you like these type of videos. So yeah, until next time. Bye!